this didn't have to end this way. Not at all. The fact that Desmond is dead. <laughs> Alright. Desmond is probably the person in the US after Joseph that I had the best <laughs> relationship to, no matter what. He was a person that took in me with open arms. I was much smaller YouTuber than him. He could have completely ignored me. But we found the chemistry. Already during the launch of Super Mario Odyssey in, uh, at the end of the October 2017 when I was idiot an idiot and ordered tickets. Even though I had ex tickets already back to Norway, I ordered special tickets just to be at the launch of Super Mario Odyssey. He was there. We had pictures together. It was a lot of fun. People were bullshitting with him like always. Then we met again in Boston at PAX East and that's when I would say we pretty much became friends. We immediately found a great chemistry together, became Viking boys and so on, drank vodka, had a lot of fun with Alex C and D and uh, we agreed we are definitely meeting again. Uh, and we did that in New York that uh, shortly after E3, uh, exchanging gifts, I made a flag for him that he absolutely adored. We met at least five times during that one week I was in New York before heading back to Norway and I will cherish every moment of those. When he came and we drank together, we partied together, uh, I was drunk, I was completely wasted at times, but we had a completely amazing time together and we found a chemistry, even though we were completely different, even though we behaved very differently. Me and Desmond found a perfect chemistry among each other. Uh, and that's why we really wanted to meet also during the launch of Smash. I was sick the two days leading up to the launch of Smash. I had diarrhea, had problems. I was, I was unable to meet with him the first two days. I was luckily able to meet with him at Alex D where we had gin, vodka, cranberry, and many others. And one last time, Met together, celebrating with Alex C and D shortly before everything went to shit. And I myself stood at a fucking bridge just ten months ago, almost did the same thing. <laughs> and that's the end this way. We're going to go to the Olympics together next year. <laughs> I will dedicate a video to you, Desmond. Even though you're not among us anymore. I will make sure that I'll be able to remember you at the, in the best way possible. Thank you for everything, Desmond. I'm so terribly sorry it ended this way. And I'm so terribly sorry we were not able to go together to Tokyo to experience Super Nintendo World, the Olympics, and the bright future that was there for everyone. And at the same time, I have to say that I'm sorry for all the people that turned away and were not able to see that you had a mental struggle that unfortunately ended the way it ended rest in peace condolences to your family and i hope this will be a wake-up call to everyone who memes and didn't realize that memes can kill and they, what this is exactly what has happened in this case the joy-con boys will remember you forever but the joy-con king is dead Thank you, Edika, and goodbye. I am not going to New York for a long, long time, especially not this year. We will see when it will be, but at this time, I don't want to see that bridge. I don't want to see that harbor. And I don't want to see the places which, which resulted in Edika's, Desmond and Murphy's death.
But like, who the fuck is this? Um, who, who is this? Actually? I don't know. Oh, yo, what's going on, man? I'm, I'm Will Smith, aka KSI on YouTube, man. I'm out here. I just, I just got. I'm about to take down Logan Paul, man. We'll go hand in hand with that dude. You know what I'm saying? Please, please take him out, though. Oh yeah, I will. Please, man. please trust do me, it. Trust me. Do us all, do us all a favor. Yeah, <laughs> man. As comedy shorts gamer, it's my duty to take comedy down, shorts uh, you gamer. Know what I'm <laughs> Definitely, bro. How many um, usernames do you have? Uh, quite a couple, bro. You can catch me on Fresh Prince of Bel Air every um, Wednesday at 11 p.m. Alright, listen, that? man. What I'm at Seas. I'm here. To, I'm here to have a good time, man. Good time. Everybody's out here. Okay. I'm, I'm coming back from a little bit of a hangover. Had hangover. some fun last hangover. night. Hangover. I'm looking for the parties, right? Meet this dude. He comes up. Yo, man. I'm a big fan. I love the work. I'm like, really? He has. I have a gift for you. Goes into the bag. Pulls out this Minecraft amiibo of me. Oh my! Hey, yo, what is that? That look like Fox McCloud to me, my nah, boy. Nah, no, that's that's not Fox. Now we're turning the back. That ain't Falco. <laughs> man, come on now. But yeah, you know what? It's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Definitely. I mean, now, now you got amiibo well, collection. Let me, now. let me get that close up. Now you got to keep it, just so you know. And he's in his underwear. <laughs> oh, the my dick me. <laughs> the my dick. The my dick. Stay tuned. My dick. Oh God, you will see. Oh my god, it's happening! Outside of that, they got everybody that matters, you know? You, there, there's some people that you just don't need to concern yourselves with remembering, you know? You're gonna get bodied. Oh, 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 bodied? Yeah, yeah. You, you are your link's already bodied. Man, you ain't got no right, let me move that way. Like, yo. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, my God. Yo, chill. Yo, chill. Yo, chill. Yo, chill. Yo, chill. yo, look at all these people. Man, we're You're trash. You're trash. Uh, can the camera even yo, see him? I don't know. Yo, I just bro. beat. No, I didn't beat him, but look, I came money match? The money match? Yeah. Money match? Money match? Money match? Money match? Yo, and if you real about it, no, we're about to have the boot match tonight. We're doing we're doing rotations, bro. Rotation. We'll have a setup. Come on. Let's do it. Yo, let's go. <laughs> I got a setup. You got the setup. You got a setup for what? Smash. Don't you remember? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. It's your first time, babe? Yep, this is my reaction video. <laughs> reaction right, right. videos are a thing, aren't they? Yeah, well, you're going to put it on. Thank you. All right, let's do it. Let's get it. Oh my god, it is heaven. Oh shit. You already know what's in there. Hold on a second, this is looking kind of familiar to me. It does. Oh. Open it up. What the hell? Is this baby girl? I told you it's some Minecraft bullshit. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. I don't know how he put. Wow! What the hell? What the hell? Yo, he got the logo. And he's like, they're holding the, the logo. That's fucking crazy. This motherfucker. You're gonna have this on stream. Yeah, yeah, yo, that is dope. That's dope. That's dope as hell. So hold this so I can see like the full full. Wow. I just feel the YouTube. YouTube. It's just a YouTube video. Hope you have a friend more M for mature or. Mm. All right, here, guys. So uh, we are here to talk about E3, which yeah, was a little bit. Let uh, me fix. Let me fix this camera angle real it quick. It was a little bit um, <laughs> wifeless, I would say, because okay. Nintendo has really been going hard, hard into the wifeless mm -hmm. since, like, uh, let's say, 2014 with Benno. <gasps> Something like that. that. Right. I mean, they didn't create that waifu, but you know, they were like, yeah. we need more waifu, so here's Sega, we'll give you some money. Or Platinum, rather. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> if we take a quick rundown, we have like, uh, Bayonetta was obviously among the first. Mm -hmm. okay. Then uh, we have Fire Emblem Awakening, that was around the same time, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Like 2013. Yeah, 19. then you had uh, Robin and uh, of course. all those mm -hmm. uh, Fire Emblem characters that became the staple after. Mm -hmm. For Smash, like people say that there are too many Paramount characters. Nah, man, it ain't enough. Let them all get married too. Fuck it, make some offspring, my boy. <laughs> yeah, let's hope that is in the new Fire Emblem. This is just Fire Emblem featuring Smash Bros. characters. Oh, yeah. Let's be yeah. honest. <laughs> so, yeah, 2015 was just terrible for Nintendo altogether. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think we got any sort of waifu game that year at all. It's not a pop attack. That's much. Oh, damn. <laughs> 
So yeah, 2015 was pretty cool, but then, then, was pretty we, bad. then we got to 2016, and uh, which games did we have that year again? I, uh, <laughs> Mario, was that, no, that wasn't Mario Tennis year, that was, that was Color Splash. No, that, that, was, that was Splatty 2, no, Splatty 2 was 2015. Splatty 2. Yeah, that's what he did. Of course. It's, it's, a, it's the official name, let's be honest. Um, uh, Paper Mario was 2016. Yeah, but that's the white wasn't that game. wasn't Fire Emblem Fates that year? Yeah, too? but that's also the change we see in many ways because uh, you had uh, things like Fire Emblem uh, Cross uh, Shin Megami Tensei, and they they really weren't too afraid to talk about it. Yeah, that was like, where is that game now? <laughs> not gonna, that's not going to switch port anytime soon. Yeah, but then we, but then we come. Kimishima comes in the Yakuza. Yeah, Chris the boss, boss yeah. my boss. He's an awesome guy, by the way. Like, I met him twice at E3. Yeah, pretty awesome. He's, he speaks English quite really quite really good. good. He speak, he does English good. Uh, I would he say. does good, and Furukawa will be even better. Mm -hmm. So, so the question is, will they continue the waifu policy that they have been keeping for the last few oh, years? Yeah, I think they definitely are. Because if you think about games, we have. Um, yeah, Fire Emblem is a, has essentially become a waifu simulator. I know Fire Emblem fans there, I know you hate me for for, oh, for calling you a waifu wars or <laughs> for calling it waifu wars and stuff, and especially when we started calling Smash for waifu wars because yeah. of the possibility of having Twin Tail, Min Min, yeah, exactly. uh, Zelda. Well, the possibility is still uh, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire Emblem yeah, fans. Those so. motherfucking Fire Emblem fans, man, those dudes are fucking deadly. Mm -hmm. they, they try to kill me multiple times. <laughs> it's just like, Fire Emblem is a serious yeah. war RPG. Yeah, exactly, bro. Yeah, there's motherfuckers that would take lives for that <laughs> but yeah the game got to sell guys and that's the point nintendo the main reason they brought in these white writers it's for yeah. sales it's for of sales course. Mm -hmm. Listen to the crowd, you know? Like, Xenoblade uh, Chronicles sold around 700 times. of course it was launching it was, in mm -hmm. different places and so it came to america two. When, because 2 increased, uh, 2 was like the best selling Xenoblade 2 Chronicles was of game. course the best selling Xen uh, Xenoblade, but the first one came like in 2012 in America. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Pretty much the Wii was dead and uh, no one was re really buying it unless they were he heard so much about it. People were importing that game from yeah. Japan, from especially UK when it, when it came out uh, with all the, all the voice acting and so on. And Xenoblade Chronicles also had a little bit of that waifu vibe. Where it did, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Play, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shot and then too. Movement, uh, <laughs> All that movement stuff, but then too, they're just like, why, why stop there? Let's take it to the next level. Like, you know what? Yeah, but, but, you know what's funny? Like they give some of the girls like these crazy mechanics, mm -hmm. and they give the others more subdued mechanics. Mm -hmm. Mithras size is present, movement subdued. But there's a girl in the game called Veil, um, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are all over the place. And then there's another character too called Perun, and she was like the, mm -hmm. the dark skin beauty. And once again, you can be you, you, if you jump, they don't just they. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you see them bow, bow, bow. Yeah, you know, so I mean, it, it, it's This is a waifu yeah. video, guys. They so did fans never change. Like, you know, Blade Chronicles 2, man. Remember that hot tub scene, man? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah it's like. You know, poppy power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you could upgrade her to her. Oh, have oh, you, yeah. Oh, have, you, have you done that? For, to QT Pie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bro, listen, man. When I saw Poppy QT Pie for the first mm -hmm. time, bro. I put my controller down. <laughs> <laughs> in many ways, I was, I was busy for a little bit. Actually. Oh my goodness. Like in many ways, I would say that um, the waifus saved in many. Fire Emblem, they definitely saved because oh, yeah. Awakening was made to be the final game. Like they brought all these references yeah. and so on. And if this doesn't sell, it's we're awesome. just like guys, this is gonna be our last game. Let's just go all out. We're about to do it like Advance Wars. Yeah, we're about to finish it off. But then they did the couple on uh, system and, and so on. Yeah. Please bring Advance Wars back. I love that series. I don't think Fire Emblem replaces it. I miss Sanji. I miss I miss uh, I miss Godfrey. I miss uh, what the, what's that dude's name? Man. Olaf. You must have missed him that much if you don't remember. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Eagle. Yeah. This, is, this is YouTube. This is internet. Yeah, yeah I know. Right? Right? Yeah, yeah I mean, so it's always sad when they have to like ax a series. That's why I hope Captain mm -hmm. Falcon gets some sort of follow up, some sort of F Zero. I mean, I would love to have a game like that again. The last but good sales were really horrible. But the game was so good on the game. They don't even need to make it a full price game. But you know? there's, there's one thing they can do with it have more female characters. Because F Zero had absolutely yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's not really a waifu kind of game. They need to appeal to the to the they need to recreate it. In a sense. You, you never know. You never know. Yeah. I, I like thought. you know all these racing girls and uh, like that that's the point. Uh, Nintendo doesn't do racing girls in the racing games. That no, would be the perfect thing to zero those yeah, Being there, but how many racing games does Nintendo do other than Mario Kart? 
But yeah. I think it's gonna change. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they could add one to Diddy Kong Racing 2. People have been asking for that, man. They right. swear they can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> who owns it? Uh, Microsoft? EA? Or Microsoft? They, someone Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft. Microsoft yeah, yeah. I mean, it, that doesn't make any sense to me. It's a, it's a Nintendo character, but Microsoft owns it. Mm-hmm. What's going on? They own, like, the series? So how did that yeah. I don't know, but they made a DS game when Rare was owned by Microsoft, so oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. that happened. And then we get to 2017, which is like the year of the wife with Nintendo. Oh, yeah. like, the it's, wife. It's, not, it's not kidding me even, because I have never seen Zelda sexualized. You know, in, let's in, let's in be honest about Zelda though, she wasn't that Come sexual. On, that, don't, don't give me that. She wasn't, no, she wasn't that sexual. That, that, yeah, exactly. That, exactly. But that, 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 that one cutscene. Just that one, yeah, one, one with the flower. Yeah, with the flower, yeah, you know, it's she, just she like, bent over. Yeah, that's, that's, like, that's, that's like, that's, that's like that's not 14 that. year old, like... No, <laughs> no she's... She's not 14 years old. No, what I'm saying is, only a 14 year old would get off to that. Yeah, a regular bro, man, he'd be like, I appreciate that. Huh? 17 is legal 18. in the US? 17 is legal in some some crib, but just okay. 18 you okay. know. 17 they have. In Norway it's 16 by the way. No, oh, oh, well. Yeah. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's straight to business. business. Straight to business. Straight to business. <laughs> straight to business. That's why the grad students can can do it. Yeah. yeah. The same goes with drinking. You're editing this part out, by the way. <laughs> I'm definitely editing it out. Well, uh... Yeah, probably you did a fucking parties, movie. Parties in Norway, Poland, they are insane. So, it's you know, insane. Yeah, yeah, bro. We, so. man, we just took some Jack, bro. That shit has us. Look, look at my nigga Ray. He's fucking... <laughs> He's off camera. This nigga okay, is... We are right. <laughs> he is sure. fucking deceased, my nigga. He just got Thanos. <laughs> so, I mean... Thanos. Thanos. Uh, I think you on the way too, nigga. <laughs> like, yeah. This motherfucker Conrad, bro, his eyes have been getting redder and redder. I know, I know, I know. And that's why we probably will not have this on video. I, I think we'll just use the audio. Oh, well, don't worry about it, man. Shit, who cares? Exactly. Bro, we, it's a white video. We're being young. This yeah. is what we're supposed to do. <laughs> you know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. Exactly. We need to exactly. do this before we get too old that we can't do no more. Exactly. Yeah. No, so they kept in many ways the waifus in Fire Emblem and obviously a little bit in Zelda Chronicles X. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. But then oh, we X, come, yeah. yeah. But then we come to like E3 uh, 20. Oh, no, no, no. Let's begin with the Fire Emblem presentation with Fire Emblem Heroes. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. that's waifu simulation. Yes. Yeah, at a whole new level. The, uh, the seasons. Uh, stuff. Uh, yeah. Heroes, I don't remember a day. How much money have you spent on Heroes? Oh, in Heroes? Uh, oh, oh, you mean Heroes? Oh, I thought you meant Three Houses, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Heroes, I haven't spent a dime, because I'm scared. I'm I don't scared. want to buy that game. I know for a fact, once I pick it up, I'm going to want to get every single wife that I missed out on. That means going back on the seasonal things, and I don't want to get myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should meet our friend Roger's base. Oh, no. Oh, oh, yeah. Roger's just, just trying to go back. He's like, I don't know, but he's talking he he's, he's going all the way. All the way. Valued. And uh, yeah, like um, one thing was that they announced the new Fire Emblem game with the Fire Emblem Heroes. And Set for 2018, ha! <laughs> yeah, that's true. That but, happens, uh, but, it? but it's pretty, pretty good still. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we think about other waifu games. Obviously, ARMS. Yeah. Like, I felt like ARMS was the true game where it embraced the waifu. Yeah, they ARMS they was. Yeah, it was, it was. Yeah, I know that one. Yeah, this Big is starting time. to feel more and more like a timeline video about Nintendo. The Nintendo, why, where's Jason Dameron when we need him? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> We exactly. make these timeline videos oh, uh, about shit. Zelda franchise. They're like 30 minutes to an hour long. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like pro, pro stuff. So Professional. Really cool. We take ourselves seriously. Yeah. But in ARMS, they started, it started simple. Like Spring Girl and uh, yeah, Ribbon Girl and Spring Man, they were just like completely generic <laughs> like whatever protagonists yeah but then they started coming out with like uh, oh you saw the first minion yeah you started seeing like and then you had ninjara he's yeah. like a cool little mm-hmm. like a little wig yeah the thing. japanese uh, uh yeah. player in that game was like, yeah but the minmin drop was kind of like the oh my friend uh, alan he he messaged me saying minmin sit on my face and i'm just like chill out bro <laughs> She's got strings for arms. Well, if she comes to Smash, I just feel like they have to. Min Min goes for the win win. Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. That's, now that's too easy, but I'll take it. Yeah, I know. Right? Yeah, but but it's, it's, perfect. Perfect. it's perfect. It's perfect. So perfect. It's many, you know, they're going to have an arms assist trophy in the very yeah. least. They have to. But mm-hmm. uh, Min Min was okay. She had It was all covered up and so on. But then yeah. enters Twintel. And it's like, whoa, okay, they go, they go, they're trying to do extra with her. <laughs> it's just like the, the wife that uh, Alex got. Oh, yeah, got oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the twin cell, that's sin right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's a good one. Yeah, that's, that's a nice one. That's, that's, that's sinful. <laughs> that's just too much. Yeah, the movie star with the... 
Yeah, she had everything. She yeah, had, no, she had everything. everything going on. Like, she had real arms too. Like, what? That I was know. like, oh, she can still give you a hand job and then not feel weird. <laughs> that was like Yabuki <laughs> met with Kimishima in the night and said, let's, yeah, know, let's be right. bad boys. Let's be bad boys. Let's be bad boys <laughs> Oh, shit, Yabuki. <laughs> I bet I think it must have been Kimishima's, like, he must have been his side man or oh, something. Oh, I met him last year. He's this shy and quiet Japanese. Oh, Yabuki? Yeah, but when he gets into the ring, oh my god. Oh my lord. You know, when he gets into the bar, oh, Yabuki yeah, take two yeah. shots, he starts bagging. He's just like, <laughs> come here, baby, come with me tonight. Yeah, yo. Oh, Yabuki. Yeah, he can start to fuck with him. You He stretches his arm out. <laughs> <laughs> he got real arms. Oh my he god. He a nigga, man. What the fuck? And then, of course, we had Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Wait, what about, what about, what about, what about Mario Odyssey? Oh, oh, but was that so sexualized? I mean, Zelda wasn't sexualized, you still brought her up. Yeah, but, but no, but the point <laughs> was, Zelda was typical, and I, 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 Pauline, dude. The thing about waifu, it's, it's, it has to be in the kind of anime category. Princess Peach oh, it, it in a happen. freaking swimsuit. Yeah, that was pretty sexual. Yeah, it's, mm-hmm. it's pretty sexual, especially for children. Yeah, man. Child, children's game, it's just like, mm-hmm. Mommy, can I see you? And do not even, even get me started on Tiara. Oh, yeah. Yo, when I was a little kid, man, Melee, I used to, when I was a little kid, like, was like 12, 13, when Melee was out, I used to turn the camera to look underneath Peach's skirt. Man, I used to do that. Let me see them legs. Let me see the. I was a kid. I was like, oh, yeah, this is great. Yeah, I can see your panties. I did the same fucking thing. Uh, <laughs> I, know, I, know, I, know, I, I know. 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 RPG leak that some idiots, by the way. The Mario RPG. Oh yeah. yeah uh, some idiots leaked and ruined the Nintendo Ambassador program. Like no one oh, is getting yeah. uh, free, free inch, uh, copies. Uh, oh really? Yeah. Wait. Mm-hmm. So how did wait? So no longer you get like. The last game we got was in Mario Kart Two. Mm-hmm. Damn. So they don't give anybody early. The full launch. Yeah. No, nope. pretty much. Wow. Then it's so. so Who was the guy that ruined it? So uh, we don't know. Uh, we'll, we don't speak his name. No, it, he wasn't. Oh, we know he wasn't in the US, but he was under the Nintendo of America jurisdiction. So really? Everyone really? was punished. Damn, so wait a minute. So no one in America? Or no one at all? It wasn't uh, a person in the US. We know I mean, that it happened. I mean, what is saying? It was coming from, uh, I think, uh, uh, one of the Latin American countries. He's asking if it's just people in America that don't get review copies anymore. Oh, uh, uh, no one. It's possible. It's possible because I think. Canada and some other places might have different policies. Yeah, I think, I think so too. And this this YouTuber released it was probably not even that big at all. Yeah, yeah. if nobody knows him, then yeah, mm-hmm. they punished everyone. Exactly. And, uh, but at the same time, uh, uh, yeah, N- Nintendo changed pretty much, and we will get into how that might have impacted E3 2018 when mm-hmm. it came to the because they had a message to give, to give and so on. So. Um, yeah, but with Kimishima, they were not afraid to bring Senon Kangaroo to. Oh to yeah, yeah, yeah. Shinobi Reflet. <laughs> Uh, like, yeah. obviously they didn't show this in America, <laughs> but in Japan, oh. they went all in they went with, all that, with that with uh, that science uh, uh, video. They were like, "Ooh, it's just like, ooh, yeah. we have Joy-Con." And uh, I know, right? And then the, let's not forget that SNK heroines. Oh, yes. oh yeah, oh exactly. yeah, that's like, that fan service. That's fan service on a whole new level. Real cakey mm-hmm. game. Fan service on a whole new we level. We live in the best timeline, lads. That's uh, true. That's true. That's true. And you know what they said? They said you can play the game with only one button and the stick. So you know what? Your one hand can control the game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing the game with this hand. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm playing. I'm well, real good. I can play pretty, anybody. I'm pretty much one hand for yeah. for most of this stuff. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> you can play. You can play one hand with Pokemon, and you don't want to do it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> they're getting off the Pikachu. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pika man. Pika man. <laughs> <laughs> also that Pika man. Pika man. Yeah, you know that fucked up picture you got of Pikachu that was like a human. Oh, he was standing up, yeah, Pika yeah, Man. Yeah, oh Pika man. man, that was some scary shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pikachu Pika just Pika like the dude looked like a regular guy. He yeah. just he was a Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it was fucking disturbing. <laughs> so yeah, uh, like Samurai Kagura was just like. Then you had uh, Xenoblade Chronicles Two, which was the previous Xenoblade was yeah, it was mostly about the story. But I think this time around the wife was were more important. They saw the show. Wife was through. Yeah, he mm-hmm. was like yo. They wanted to make sure they could get eye candy all over that game. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Totally. Exactly. Sure. And now, now my boy Shulk's coming back in the DLC. I know, what the fuck. Oh, that's crazy. Remember all the controversy about that character Dahlia that they revealed? And how, like, oh, her back shouldn't even be out like that. Her back, you of know, all like, things? Because, yeah. She's essentially a playboy bunny. Yeah, that's all in she, the game. She, 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 she is the representation. She's a bunny because she's, she's pretty much a playboy. 
couple oh, yeah. mm-hmm. And she talked like this, darling. And she's like, I'll mm-hmm. take care of you. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, oh, yes, you can, miss. Then you have the two el- ultra hot uh, blades, main blades. Oh, the Pyram- main ones, of Pyram- course. Mifra. Of course, mm-hmm. And uh, oh, speaking of Mephra, oh. do you have the flag? Oh, yeah, I got it, bro. It's in Where the bag. It? It's in the bag. And then you cannot expect my high ass to get up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that review is coming. Uh, yeah, don't you piece. worry. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, like, they were pushing it hard. And then mm-hmm. the secret reveal. But that wasn't all. Like, you got even the waifu robots. Waifu robots. Animatronics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Xenoblade. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I got a lot of waifu them. Cosmos. I don't know shit about it. Um, exactly. Besides the fact that she's uh, yeah, yeah, like I, I just like how Nintendo just embraced the entire otaku waifu community mm-hmm. because uh, we have the pillows, we have the uh, mm-hmm. other accessories uh, that are essential for every anime game or mm-hmm. or movie fan mm-hmm. in, in yeah. many ways. And uh, uh, I think Xenoblade you know, Chronicles because you haven't finished it, obviously. No. But uh, yeah, at the end, it's not that it's. Probably not as sexual, I would say. It's the end is not sexual. It, it, no, it, it gets much more serious. So um, you will see that. I, I better. I was waiting for that shit. That's the best thing about Zombie Chronicles One. The reason why that was such a great game because the plot twists were fucking in, 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 unimaginable. Not to mention the voice actors. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Cult classic. Yeah. That's why I was waiting for like Zombie Two. I feel like it maybe took a little long for things to get serious. It was like okay, chapter six. Chapter seven, they're finally at the tree. Mm-hmm. At the end of chapter, no, chapter eight, they're at the tree. You see, they're at the tree yet? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah not the tree, lot, but I'm gonna get there. So. There was a lot of side quests that really was like fan servicey, mm. like with the dancing. Oh, damn! Yeah, 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 yeah. How yeah, many yeah. fucking streams do you watch, nigga? Well, I played the game. Oh, oh yeah. Or the the did you ever do that? I, I reached that before you, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> did you ever do that affinity quest with the whole blushy crushy? Thing? Yeah. <laughs> uh, like there, there's a lot of fan service in this game. Mm-hmm. A lot of fan service. But the good thing about Resident Evil was that it combined an excellent story with all of these uh, elements. Pretty much like Fire Emblem, I, I would say. Like Awakening was a little bit generic. You were fighting monsters and so on. In Fates, however, things got serious. Things got mm-hmm. real. And uh, also, obviously, uh, the main character uh, was, uh, but the main character wasn't that oversexualized, but it, she became your wife anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. The, the Fire Emblem protagonist, they weren't really too sexual in nature, like Robin, if you go female, was really <laughs> like, a, like showy, but yeah, still good characters. Just, you know, modesty can be so sexy, let's be honest. That's true. Uh, I'm, I'm, I feel like the combination of English, well, the blades were for the most part American. Yeah. Think, yeah. Even though it's still got and the voice actor for Pirate Myth is uh, British, I think, or Scottish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought that was an American girl. Yeah, yeah, she sounds yeah. like one. Dead uh, on. And then what I loved in Zero Chronicles 2 was that, yes, they had these waifu fan service characters, but at the same time, they also had very serious characters and uh, some very interesting uh, plot twists when it came to blades and and so on. Mm. So the game really didn't just put that character like, oh look, here's a, a booby like, uh, you know, the uh, volleyball, sand volleyball games that are essentially oh. just, no. they're, they're alive, exactly. And um, uh, yeah, but uh, also Fire Emblem Fates. Many have complained that they went too far in that game though, and it hurt the gameplay. Is that the one with Camilla? Yep. I fucking hate her. <laughs> <laughs> How cool. I mean, I like, She's just so like she's um, your German perfect lady that is so hard. She's just the way her dialogue is fucking cringy as hell. She's like granted, I'm only played Fire Emblem. Camilla Warriors, is very it's like if, she's very true. If she's anything like she is in that game with the whole oh you've been naughty you must be punished. I'm just like oh come <laughs> take it back a little bit. Oh, Let's be sure. honest. Yeah, for some of us that's fucking gold. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to look at that. We're like yeah, exactly. Oh yes, son. And, and like the, they really put highlight on the European girls though in in that game, and many didn't like that because they kept it very respected for the uh, for the uh, what was that clan called again? The um, Yiga clan? I'm no, 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 the Yiga. Don't bring up the Yiga clan around this man. He'll go yeah, nuts. I, I hate yeah, it, bro. Oh, you, you didn't like him? 
Uh, they're just a generic. Uh, so uh, dumb. They, they, they could have done so much they more. Could have, they could have been essentially ninjas. In this they they could have been like like an actual series. Yeah. Right? They could have had story and background to them that made them fear so much. Exactly, but the Sheik, because the Sheik, oh, that's another uh, fan service thing. With, uh, oh, oh, yeah, with what's her name? Paya? Yeah. Paya, Paya, Paya. Where's that Paya. birthmark, baby? <laughs> Paya, Paya, Paya was maybe even more pushed up as the wife in that game. Yeah, yeah, she was, definitely. Where was her birthmark, though? Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. It, was, uh, it was that famous one. These are the questions. <laughs> so yeah, that was um, 2016, 2017, we get to 2018. Uh, it starts good with the Nintendo Direct getting the SNK hearings um, mm -hmm. announcement and so on. But uh, I felt like this E3 was, they put much less emphasis on the wife. Even with Fire Emblem being announced. Mm. Straight up. Yeah, it's just like, okay, Fire Emblem is becoming once again more serious. I, I hope that will not hurt their sa sales whatsoever because. I don't think it will. Yeah. I mean, Awakening yeah, like, they, made, gave us so much more, so many more I, I still think, even though they show it as serious because they want to convince the, the players that, like, oh, there's not my Fire Emblem anymore. But uh, I think they will still have more than enough waifus yeah. in that game. You know they will. Like, Roger was suggesting, like, uh, Pet, um, petting games. Yeah, petting mini games are a little, a little bit more in depth than than previous games. Mm. Get that, got that capacitive touch screen. You can do a lot more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but pressure. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Oh, and the Joy Cons, obviously. We already saw it. HD Rumble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God! Imagine, imagine that in Fire Emblem. <laughs> imagine doing that with uh, your favorites. Favorites. Oh, you're fun. <laughs> yeah, really fun. So yeah, like, uh, I I hope really that this Fire Emblem will be able to combine both. Mm -hmm. And I feel, feel like Xenoblade Chronicles 2 was a typical example of a game that managed to keep the right balance between telling a good story, having great gameplay, and having uh, at the same time these a little bit fan service y um, waifu, waifu mm -hmm. characters. Oh, indeed. So, yeah. mm -hmm. But otherwise, that's but pretty much it. Much I, it. I, I just hope that uh, Furukawa will continue the policy Shady boy. Of, 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 of tolerance. Because <laughs> It's just like, that's a fair, as we say in French, uh, let it be free. Mm. And uh, free. Nintendo has heavily benefited from the waifus. Economically, you have gotten a whole new crowd. And I think many of those people are mature adult people. Of course. Of course, Nintendo fans grew up. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you see in, in Japan it works the same way. Like, you have all these lonely guys that have their... Uh, so many lonely guys. One thing is having a pillow. Another thing is actually doing it. Interactively, I mean, you on know, Japan's facing in, population in crisis. HD because, mm -hmm. like, we're getting the first Fire Emblem in HD, first Pokemon in HD, mm -hmm. so uh, it will all be very nice because I, I, don't, think, I don't see them putting ha heavy emphasis on that in Pokemon because it, it's a kid, kids game. It's a kids game, exactly. It's yeah. not gonna happen. They are going to have Let's go Pikachu, let's go mm -hmm. Eevee. Looking at some Let's Go TV. Like, let's go <laughs> what Nintendo is trying to do is reach us to us, uh, young adults, say, before 30 before they get uh, own families and mm -hmm. because of their kids want to play the system too it's like okay i, I can't play Samurai kagura yeah with with, the, the, with, the with, with my little timmy at, uh, at the living room <laughs> exactly so i just hope that um, yeah, yeah. 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 we're, okay. we're pretty okay. much finished here anyway so that's, uh, that's my phone right there yeah i think it might, might be on there some on the sandwich box right, or or something but uh for Okawa, uh being the mafia, <laughs> being the mafia boss or uh, yakuza boss means also that um, mm -hmm. you need to deliver the goods for the mature audiences. Make them make us an offer we can't. And the more mature audiences means also for more third parties because that's that's how gaming works, guys. You may hate waifus in video games, but you shouldn't. It's it actually helps the game sell. Mm -hmm. And that means also that we get more games, and everyone benefits from that. Precisely. So, on that, I think it sums it up pretty well. Nintendo, yes, could you make game with wa waifus, you will sound excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, but also combine it with great gameplay, and everyone will enjoy them. Everyone so, will win. Everyone wins. Young and old. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Great to have you, Erika. Likewise, man. Thanks for having me. This motherfucker talked the whole time. <laughs>